hands down the best fast autofocus lens for APS-C Sony cameras with great image quality and super creamy bokeh. Let's review this. What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On channel. So here we have the Viltrux 27mm f1.2 lens with autofocus for Sony E-mount cameras. This is the lens from Pro lineup from Viltrux, we have two lenses in this lineup, 27mm and 75mm, and I've been using this lens with the Sony FX30, which is a perfect match in my opinion. All the shots that you see in this review are made with this combination, FX30 and the Viltrux 27 f1.2. In full frame equivalent you'll get about 40mm in terms of focal length, and in terms of background blur this lens is an equivalent of an f1.8 lens, but still you get the f1.2 gathering of the light. This means that you get 1.3 times more light than an f1.8 lens and you can use it in low light situations easily. This is not a small lens for an APS-C lens type and it weighs 560 grams. It looks pretty dense and a little fat, but I like the build quality and the overall design. It's almost completely made out of metal and I do love the pro versions of the Viltrex lenses. They are simply outstanding, kind of like a G Master from a third party manufacturer. On the body of the lens itself we see a pro logo and also this lens has a lot of different functions like AFMF switch, a custom button, as well as the aperture ring which you can have with clicks or being declicked or you can set it to A and change the aperture through your camera. At the back we see a pretty thick weather sealing gasket, this lens is weather sealed and also the USB Type-C port for updating the firmware as well as the 67mm filter thread. Also in the kit we have a pretty sweet pouch with leather-like bottom part as well as the back and front caps, pretty plasticky to be honest and a plasticky lens hood. And with the lens hood it does look pretty big and super professional let me say. Now let's have a closer look at the shots I made in my vacations in Dubai with 27mm f1.2 and the Sony FX30. Throughout all the day shots I almost always used the Haida 3 to 7 stops of V and Z and almost all the time I was using the wide open aperture of f1.2. As you can see even on the wide shot we get some background separation and when you shoot something at f1.2 far away we do see a little bit of vignette but I love adding some vignettes in post so to me this is just dragging the attention towards the center of the frame which is nice. Here is the vlogging mode with f1.2. This lens is not meant for vlogging but you can now see the depth and the creaminess of the bokeh, it's super nice. All in all 40mm is a great focal length for street style photography and videography, this was the only lens I took to my trip and I was really satisfied with this focal length, it's not too close and not too wide. And this lens really reminds me of my 35mm f1.8 full frame lens in terms of the look so you can totally get the full frame look on your APS-C camera with this lens. I also tried to use 100 frames per second in 4K with additional crop on the Sony FX30 and as you can see the image quality is still great and the full frame equivalent in this occasion was around 60mm and it looks extremely nice in my opinion, who doesn't like fast cars in super slow motion, especially in Dubai, super sexy black car. So the Viltrex 27mm f1.2 has 11 bladed aperture and look at the quality of this lens's bokeh. The bokeh balls are super round with a touch of color fringe and wide open but nothing too crazy and when you stop down you get rid of the cat's eye shape in the corners of the image. And all in all creaminess and quality of this bokeh is from another universe let me say. One of the best bokehs that I've ever seen in an APS-C lens, that's for sure. And don't forget guys that when you step down thanks to 11 bladed apertures you almost always retain the circular shape of the bokeh balls. And in the real world you can definitely tell that the bokeh and the transition to autofocus areas are looking very natural. So here is my daughter seeing the Burj Khalifa tower for the first time and look at my camera settings I was using the 2500 ISO, the second native ISO in S-Log3 as well as 1 over 100th of a shutter and this was plenty for my FX30 camera to get those type of shots at night with the Dubai fountains and all that stuff and if I were using the f1.8 lens I would have to raise my ISO to about 8000 to get the same exposure. 
so for low light scenarios this Viltrox lens is a no-brainer. Now let's have a look at the sharpness, vignette and distortion. So here we are at f1.2, we do see some vignetting but almost zero distortion and really good sharpness even in the corners of the shot. At f1.8 we almost completely get rid of the vignette and at f2.8 we have the even illumination of the whole frame. f4 almost does nothing to the image in terms of vignette and the sharpness. So here we are in the middle of the shot, 400% scale, and as you can tell, f1.2 is really sharp, not much softer than the f1.8 or even the f4. And the same applies to the corner sharpness. We see that the sharpness in the extreme corners are really nice at f1.8, but the vignette is strong at f1.2. So here is another real-world example. So here we are at f1.2, then f1.8, the corners are much brighter, and f2.8, we have the even illumination. And here we are at 400%, as you can tell guys, the sharpness is great, even wide open. This lens can focus down to 28 centimeters, not a macro lens by any means, but the image quality wide open with the minimum focus and distance is super great. And here is my eye at the minimum focus and distance, and it's close enough in my opinion. One more great feature is the absence of chromatic aberrations, wide open almost whatsoever. The longitudinal chromatic aberrations and the lateral chromatic aberrations are almost non-existent, which is a really rare thing for an f1.2 lens. The flares performance is also nice, we don't lose a lot of contrast, and as you can tell guys, the flares themselves look nice and natural, so the flares is not a weak spot of this lens as well. But guys, of course, this lens is not super perfect in all the terms, so here we have the autofocus tests with 7 stops of ND, wide open, f1.2, and as you can tell, the autofocus works fine, but sometimes it hunts a little bit, so it goes behind the point of focus and then goes back just a tiny bit. So it's not perfect, but for most use cases it will be pretty nice, and the other thing that bothers me a little bit is the focus breathing. So when the lens focuses, it changes the focal length just a tiny bit. And it could be an issue for videographers, but not for photographers at all. So here we have it at f1.8 and 1 over 8 thousandths of a second. It does get better results, but still guys, you can see the focus breathing issue. To me, it's not a huge thing, so I won't be focusing from the minimum focus distance to infinity and backwards. I do know how I would use this lens. For example, for talking headshots, it won't be an issue, but you need to know that Sony's focus breathing compensation doesn't work with third-party lenses, only with Sony native lenses, and this is what you get with the Viltrax lens, and you don't have any way to correct this in post or in camera. Minor issue in my opinion, but I had to tell you this. The price is $545, and in my opinion, this is hands down the best in terms of bang for buck lens for Sony APS-C cameras. You get great sharpness and image quality even wide open, the absence of chromatic aberrations, decent minimum focus and distance, awesome build quality and features like AFMF switch, the focus hold button, the aperture ring, etc. The bokeh quality and the background separation and the overall look of this lens is looking really like if you are using a full frame lens and camera combination, no doubt about it. Of course it's not that perfect for videographers due to the focus breathing and autofocus performance, but for stills it's almost perfect guys. So what do you think of this lens, especially considering the f1.2 aperture and recently I was reviewing the Surrey Sniper lenses, the autofocus lenses with f1.2 and they don't get anywhere near the performance of the Viltrox lens at f1.2. So guys, please let me know, do you know any other autofocus lenses for Sony crop sensor cameras with f1.2 that could compete with the Viltrox 27mm f1.2 Pro lens? And do you want this lens in your kit? Please let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. And by the way guys, look at those elephants at f1.2 and super slow motion. They are so cute! If you did enjoy this video guys, please smash the like and subscribe buttons and hit the notifications bell. And here I have a video for you to watch next. So see you in that one guys. Take care. Bye.